Flight Test. I'm Alex, this is Stefan, TJ, and we got Josh. Hi. And today we have the FT Gremlins, the long-awaited Gremlins. Yes, they are all built, and you know, the Gremlins are about fun, and we are probably at one of the most fun places you could go to. This yeah. is actually an old abandoned YMCA, and it's now called The Rack. Yes, R-A-C, it's in Dover, Ohio, and they do all kinds of fa family-friendly activities yeah. like uh, laser tag, but way cooler. Yeah. Battlefield Live. Battlefield yeah, Live is yeah. what it's called. They have VR, um, and they, they host parties. They do all kinds of cool stuff, so thank you so much, RAC, for having us out. A huge thank you to Ryan for opening the doors here. This is actually before they open up. He's gonna let us explore this whole entire grounds, even some places that no one else gets to go. Wow. Yeah, it's a pretty cool historic building, and it's perfect for these little gremlin Let's guys. Get flying. Let's get flying. Let's do it. Ready, set, take off. Even though there's no prop doors, you can still pretty much run into stuff and keep going. All right, I'm back in business. I got stuck out there without the signal. Whoa! Sorry, Jeremy. I just kind of, of flew blind back. Okay, I got it. Whoa! Oh, oh, was crazy. that you? Yeah. <laughs> Almost took me out. Well, that was awesome. That it was. Awesome. We came back to the shop because, frankly, we flew out all our batteries, had a lot of fun. <laughs> we need to do some repairs because we were hitting everything yes. super hard. Yeah, we're crashing. I guess that goes with the territory. When you fly faster, you break more things. One sure. thing we didn't break, though, was frames, and that was a really cool thing. Even with yeah. dollar in our wood, we're yet to break a frame, which is really nice. So today, I have the Baby Hawk, which is yeah. uh, basically the same thing as a Gremlin. It just comes in a ready-to-fly package, which right. is pretty cool. So I'm going to be flying this. We're at the shop. Uh, we have a bunch of raceways opened up. We have the shop opened up. We're going to be ripping around here. The cool thing about uh, quads this size is that they're big enough that you can fly them outside. Right. And you can also fly them inside, but to have a good time inside, you're going to need a some, lot of space. And sure. some skills. And some skills, you can, yes. You can creep around Sticks in the areas and everything, but the uh, the tiny whoops is really where it's at when it comes to like going to the tables. Obviously, in the past vlogs, we were going to the tables, TJ was killing it and everything, mm -hmm. but you need some practice. But these can go outside. Correct. Yeah, I wouldn't consider these a tiny whoop replacement because honestly, like if you are flying in even a large living room, you're not going to have very much fun with this unless you're just like hovering. Um, unless you're extremely skilled, then yeah, maybe, right. but still like to get these things out and stretch your legs a little bit, you need quite a bit of space. So that's what we're going to do today. Yep. Let's get flying. Huh? Let's do it. I'm going to go to the I'm just getting ready.
know, we always talk about how much fun it is to fly as friends. Yes. Going to different locations and flying in different places is just the coolest thing. Yeah, and the Gremlin's great for that too because it's so small. Yeah. And you can carry it with you anywhere anywhere you go. So you can always have fun no matter what. Just keep it in your car, keep it in your backpack. It's so tiny you can always have yeah. it. Now the Gremlin concept is something we've been talking about in great deal and we're going to have links down below. Podcasts, vlogs. Yeah. We've been really talking a lot about this because for the first time with multi-rotors, we finally have the opportunity to be creative, use different materials, and really just have fun with designing and flying. Yeah, we've had a lot of fun with it over the past couple weeks, both in the vlogs and the episodes. And I'm sure yeah. you're going to keep seeing them pop up because we love them. Yeah. It's just like a pure fun quad. You don't need to worry about GoPros or anything like that or memory cards. You just turn it on and go fly fun. and have it. It's like, it's like you're a hummingbird. You don't have to be afraid of the crash. You don't have to be afraid of the build. Everything is just fun and simple. And what we're really looking forward to is partnering with the community to have them share their designs as well. Yes. So look for about every month we're going to be kicking out a new design. We're also going to be doing community releases. We're also going to be banking designs from different people that you can download for free. So anything that we create, we're going to put up there just like we did with our foam airplanes that you can download it for free. You can either 3D print it, cut it out on a laser, or scroll solid out yourself. You don't need to use exotic materials like carbon fiber, although that will be coming. Yeah, we're working really hard to bring all of these frames, or some of them anyways, into a carbon fiber variation, which yeah. we're gonna be offered on our store as well, um, which will obviously make it a little bit lighter, maybe a little bit more durable. But that being said, we honestly haven't broke any of our Delrin frames yet, which is pretty remarkable. Yeah. So if you guys have any ideas for frames, or if you have a frame design, leave it down in the comments below of what you like to see yep. um, and grab Gremlin frames and future future designs, and uh, we'll keep an eye out for that. And one really cool thing that we're excited about is we're not just gonna be selling power packs for this. We're actually gonna be including a Gremlin inside the box, and we're gonna let you choose what frame. And as time goes on, we're gonna include more frames for you to choose. So that way, when your Gremlin pack arrives, there's a Gremlin already inside. Yep, check the links below for more info. Another thing we're really excited about the Gremlin series is the fact that we're gonna be able to go into schools with this. Yes. Most of the times, uh, if you look at a drone STEM program, they're assembling really big overpriced quads, and they're really, they're not teaching much STEM-wise. They're just teaching them how to assemble a quad, fly it. It's very expensive. It doesn't include a lot of people. These gremlins are fantastic for a gymnasium. A gymnasium is as big as you need to go. Kids can learn how to build, learn how to fly, but most importantly, learn how to solve problems through flight. And if you go to our store list and you're actually going to see a free sample of what a STEM curriculum with the gremlin would look like that you can download and use in your schools, communities, or even for homeschoolers. And if you're a student or a teacher and you're not familiar with flight test STEM, make sure you check out ftstem.com. We have a full STEM curriculum all yeah. based around the hobby where we use drones and airplanes plans to teach kids about science, technology, engineering, and math. We're looking forward to featuring it. If you're watching this right now, both the Gremlin and the pre-built Baby Hawk are available on our stores, and we thank you for your support. Yep, thanks so much, guys. We'll see you.